managing projects. It's one of the most difficult and at the same time most important aspects of your job. As managers or project leaders, you're judged by your abilities to coordinate schedules, allocate resources, and keep a keen eye on deadlines, timelines, and budgets. But have you really been trained in the art of project management? Do you clearly understand the terms like lag time, slack time, earned value? Do you know how to get the most out of project management tools like the weighted average technique, crash path analysis, or resource loading in order to keep your projects on target, on schedule, and within budget? This program can provide answers, tools, and hard skills training to help make you a more effective project manager. Welcome to Project Management with author and presenter Larry Johnson. Larry will share his expertise and real-life experiences as a project manager that will help you to put project management tools and techniques into a framework that you can implement immediately. In Volume 1 of Project Management, Larry will explore some of the skills and terms you'll need to successfully manage your projects. Terms like slippage, parallel tasks, and critical path. He'll also introduce you to the four phases of a project, and you'll get an overview of the ten questions that every project manager must be able to answer. In Volume 2, you'll begin to answer those ten questions as you look at ways to determine the true goal of your project. You'll learn the importance of conducting a structured walkthrough, the dangers of over-engineering, and how to effectively use the WBS, the Work Breakdown Structure. Larry will also guide you through the Task Analysis Matrix, PERT, Network and CPM Charts, Plus, you'll learn how to determine your project's critical path. In Volume 3, Larry examines four keys to keep in mind when you begin to estimate time for your project. You'll learn how to use the weighted average technique for determining schedules, how to conduct a what-if analysis, how to develop a trade-off analysis, and how to be prepared for any contingency or roadblock. Finally, in Volume 4 of this special career track presentation, Larry Johnson will take you through budgets, including the fixed and zero-based budget. You'll learn the different types of costs and how they affect your project. Plus, you'll discover an important technique called crash path analysis. Now, we associate project management, or at least the science of project management, with projects like building bridges and construction projects and big defense projects. And indeed, that's where the uh, roots of this science came from. But you know, the science of project management and the tools associated with it can be applied to almost any project where you've got a beginning and an end and things to get done. Whether you're developing a piece of software, or you're planning an office move, or you're testing a new microprocessor, or launching a marketing campaign, or preparing a sales presentation, or developing a training program. Even handling a legal case if you happen to be a lawyer. That process from the beginning to the end of the case can use project management tools to manage it. Now, given all those definitions, how many of you all in this room have at one time or another managed a project? Yep. We all have. We're all project managers. And if you notice that there are some frustrations and there are some rewards that are associated with that process, well, tell me, what are some of the frustrations? What do you find frustrating? Money. Money. You always have too much money to for your projects, huh? <laughs> ah, you, you don't have enough money and you've got to stay within a budget, you have a limited amount of resources, and so you've got to track how much money you're spending and watch your checkbook. Things are going to go wrong on your project, guaranteed. That's the only certainty. Kristen, have you ever worked on a perfect project? No. no, I haven't either. So you better have some contingency plans in place. So by using these tools, you can start to make contingency plans. Well. Right brain people, they tend to estimate time differently than left brain people. For example, I happen to be very right brain. I'm kind of broad brush stroked. I like to see the big picture. I kind of move through life fast. I don't worry too much about details. That's just kind of my style. My wife, <laughs> she's very detailed, very analytical, very left brain. Where I see the forest, she sees the trees. Where I see opportunities, she sees the problems. <laughs> and we work real well together. We get along fine, except we do miscommunicate sometimes. For example, earlier in our marriage, I was going out of the house one day, and she says, where are you going, Larry? I said, well, I'm going to the store. 
She said, which store? I said, Bayless. And she said, oh, well, when will you be back? And I said, about 10 minutes. She looked at me, she said, Larry, that's impossible. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? And she says, Bayless is five miles away. I have clocked it on the odometer. <laughs> you know, she's right. Five miles here, five miles back, that's 10 miles. Mile a minute to 60 miles an hour, that's 10 minutes. Now, you see, what I meant was, when I said I'll be back in 10 minutes, is that I'll be back shortly. I'll be back in a little while. Now, for her, 10 minutes is 10 minutes. <laughs> we are talking one minute after the other. 10 minutes, that's what you said, 10 minutes? 10 minutes. You see, we, we speak a different language because I'm right brain, she's left brain. Now, let's apply this on a project. You go to somebody who's very right brain, say a product developer. Hey, how long do you think this will take you? And he goes, oh, uh, hey, dude, a um, uh, couple of weeks. You know, as work goes on, you all are going to have to stay informed as to what's happening. Otherwise, you're like a pilot flying in the dark with blindfold on. <laughs> you don't want that to happen.